Adam, we might straight uh, start with squad updates. How's uh, Jay stuff looking? Yeah, Jacob won't play. Uh, Heather will come straight back into the team uh, in place of him. Um, he was close, Jacob, but yeah, we just thought we'd better uh, err on the side of caution with him. Uh, every day he's gotten better and better and better. But um, yeah, look, I'd anticipate that he'd be right next week, hopefully with Frizz as well. And is that the only changes to that team? Yeah, yeah. other than that, we're good to go. Oh, fantastic. Uh, in terms of Hetherington coming back, obviously a lot's been said about the game against the Bulldogs. What type of reaction and response do you expect from him? Oh, I just want Jack to go and do his job. I think he's uh, he's moved on for, moved on from that incident. Yeah, I think enough's been said about it. Where he's just got to get his uh, his head around playing tomorrow, which he will do, and he'll go out and do a job for us. It was a very disciplined performance mm. up there in Brisbane. Back to the basics in many aspects. Was that spoken about? And can we expect the same type of performance this weekend? Yeah, definitely with the conditions. Um, it's important that we are going with that mindset. But regardless, if we take the conditions out of it, that's the style of footy that we needed to get back to. That's what we did speak a lot about. Um, I feel like that is uh, in our DNA to go with that real gritty type performance, a defensive mindset. Um, so we need that again uh, tomorrow. It definitely, uh, I think I said earlier in the week, defence will win this one. It was a great performance by Davy Armstrong, but now uh, the competition has video on him to go yeah. and do their homework. What was your message to him uh, this week? Oh, just along with everyone else, we're really happy for him, proud of him. Uh, I know. It was a big week for him, but to his credit, he's uh, mate, he's just rolled in and Davey's pretty laid back. He just went about his business all week, uh, regardless of all the fanfare. So, um, look, yeah, we expect him to go out and do his job again. You spoke about safe footy. The team that um, has done it probably better than anyone else over the last 18 months has been the Warriors. Mm. What do you expect from that outfit? Yeah, look, I think over the last, oh, they've spoken themselves. Their completions had been down recently and... They want to get back to that high percentage type footy. So, yeah, I expect both teams, uh, I think it'll be a similar style. Both teams will want to go and play a really disciplined uh, style with the footy and, and back their defence. So, um, yeah, it, it'll make for a pretty good contest, I think. Can you remember a season being so open in your coaching career where everyone seems to be beating everyone at the moment? Uh, I can't remember a month ago, let alone the whole career. So, I think... Yeah, look, it is a little bit like that. I, yeah, I'm glad I'm not in any tipping comps. Uh, is, is it handy in one sense that uh, after a couple of losses to start the season, you look at where the eight is and it hasn't gotten away from your side and one win and all of a sudden you're kind of back there? Yeah, I, I, I don't get fixated on looking at the eight. I think, uh, I said before, that's important in September, the eight. So, uh, look, we just focus on making sure that we're adding to our style of footy and getting better from our performances and, and the latter stuff will take care of itself at the end of the year. And um, last time there was wet conditions at McDonald Jones Stadium, there were still 10,000 brave fans, which uh, got a lot of attention. Um, yep. Do you expect similar out there tomorrow? Yeah, I do. I actually, uh, I was thinking about that while we were training, the, the guy in the scuba suit and but our fans are tough. They just sit on that hill and they'll brave the elements and adds a bit of fun and excitement to it. And um, yeah, I know, I know that our boys were really, really wrapped with getting a full stadium in those conditions. And uh, look, I'm hoping for the same tomorrow. And can it bring a response out of the team when they walk out in terrible conditions and see that the fans have shown up in drops? Our, our crowd, our supporters bring a response out of our team every week.